Okay, I want to show you some of the basic uh, parts. I'm actually going to put the uh, bottom uh, hydrostatic uh, motor for the Clems engine together. This is the one that's seized up, so I unseized it. So I'll show you how I actually uh, get everything together in general. Um, and this part right here is actually what's going to happen is this actually, this is my base. This actually slides all the way in, and this gets attached to the main hydrostatic motor itself, the main drive system. So this actually acts as a whole base, so it's able to rotate in general. Uh, on this, this is actually a impeller I made, and what happens is, is that it takes the fluid, uh, while the whole base is actually spinning, it takes the fluid and pushes it into the channels, which then goes into the main input of the uh, hydrostatic pump itself. So I'll put this together and show you what it basically uh, looks like. I spun it up a little bit and figured, well, since you've seen how basically it comes together. Now, this is the main shaft of the uh, pump itself. So the hydrostatic motor is actually part of the main output shaft. Uh, the key is, is that this base is actually locked down. So when you spin this, it actually creates, the motor actually spins. Instead of the shaft, the housing actually spins. What happens is fluid gets sucked up into the hydrostatic pump. From there, the exit port of the hydrostatic pump goes into the main uh, uh, gear pumps itself, which basically creates a negative pressure. So when this actually starts to rotate, uh, it basically takes on its own energy through the inertia and the centripetal forces wanting to push out the fluid. What happens is it becomes neutral, where the it, it takes literally no no more energy <coughs> of actually. Um, uh, keeping this thing spinning. It's basically based on a water spout, which is basically the same concept, is that once that vacuum occurs in the rotation, it just keeps sucking up fluid until it basically runs out energy. The energy is basically the warm water. Uh, but on hydraulics, it's actually a little different because once we heat up that uh, hydrostatic oil, and it will do to friction, it will actually become, the viscosity becomes much lighter, and it actually will perform much better. So basically, the Clems engine, in my theory, and after multiple experiments, is based on actually a hydrostatic implosion motor. So I hope you enjoy this little update. I'll talk to you later.